one of the men on this couch in real life. And we'll find out at the end of the season. <laughs> you watch the whole season. Hugh and I are married in real life. It was interesting, when we started the show, we didn't really know how to depict our relationship. Shoot. And we wouldn't have if Mike had not, in the early stages of writing, wanted us to really get deeper into the relationship stuff. Which became one of the richer storylines. So this isn't one of those will they or won't they. They... It's the timing they, they've, is not right. They've been together before, mm -hmm. um, and it's awful always. Mm -hmm. And we were fortunate enough to have Leslie Bibb play Hugh's girlfriend uh, in the show. This is out of a real thing, too. Rachel, you were talking about growing up. Yeah. You know, what type of girl intimidated you? The pretty girl. And the, the beautiful blonde yeah, cheerleader yeah. type. Yeah. And that's who we got to fall in love with Hugh. Mm -hmm. And it's very funny to see Rachel be so jealous, <laughs> fictional Rachel be so jealous uh -huh. of Leslie Bibb. Yeah. It's fun and easy to play. So we don't know this woman. She could be a charlatan. A charlatan? What's a charlatan? Like a witch. Yeah, I make sort of a desperate, <laughs> long-footed uh, attempt to uh, compete. compete with Leslie. <laughs> uh, and it just goes horribly awry. I just think it's an opportunity where we can... I'm sorry. You know what? That, that's a no. That's an over my dead body no. Really? I think we need someone to help us uh, fix the script. So let's go to our friends who have already won an Oscar, Jim Rash and Nat Fax. And that's true, they did. They'll help us. They won an Oscar. And like many of our celebrity guest stars who are groundlings, they were very game to take their real life relationship but play it broader and for bigger laughs. They had a fight. They fought each other yeah. in, in the scene. And I think it might have been very therapeutic for them to get oh. their feelings so out on the table. The yeah. But one of the other fun things that I like about that storyline is that these guys realize, oh, everyone else is so messed up. Maybe yeah. we're not so bad by comparison. What's happened to all these people?